we're inside of the smart grid excavator now and we've got the same GX55 monitor that you used to. So inside of the monitor here there's ways that you can you know set up different views. You can flip through them by hitting that arrow button that'll take you to the next view and those are customizable within the monitor. So that can get you to the right setup that you want to see for your cross section and whatnot. And that's, you can change that within the display options here. So you can work with that if you would like. Um, in terms of the um, monitor here, you see how this one, we got flat set up as the name. Well, that's because you can add text to the screen by pressing and holding. And then you can say, I want to turn on um, any information that's uh, pertinent to yourself while you're operating. So it'll give you elevations on there if you'd like. Elevations down here too, but that'll at least show what active surface you have right now so you're not grading to the wrong thing. So such as subgrade or anything else like that. The monitor here has the same widgets that we're kind of used to seeing on the crawler as well. So you have your focus for your bucket. Um, and they, these are customizable, I should say. That's uh, in the menu and you can go to view and edit that as well. All right, so those arm speeds that we have here that's what you got there with the arrow showing that. It's going to be adjustable. We have arm speed slow, arm speed medium, arm speed fast, and disable. What that's going to do for you is hold back on the speed of the bucket so that it only grades at a certain speed and gives you, when you want that really tight grade, you put it on slow and you just uh, reduce the chances for it to overshoot. So this one, even being a 470 with a very large and heavy bucket and arm, does a pretty good job of keeping green. So that's all adjustable. Um, a lot of guys like running and disabled and they just meter by themselves. So that's uh, one thing that's really good is you can still do it yourself in that disabled mode. And then we have another one here, which is going to be this bucket. So that you can quickly change which bucket you have on there for when you have a quick coupler. And all these features are going to be the same whether that's on a 210, a 350, or a 470 smart grade excavator. So then under tools, we have our same thing for position check. That's, you know, you're going to come in here and make sure that your bucket is reading the correct position based on your uh, project. As you can see, maybe our project is a little far off. We've, uh, we're down in Florida or something like that. <laughs> so um, that's a way to make sure with your rover that the tip of your bucket is in the correct position. So your grade control specialist from the dealership, after he calibrates this machine in particular, because the 470 comes disassembled, that it is going to be positioned in the right spot to cut grade no matter the position of the uh, bucket and the arm and the boom. So and then some of the other features that we have here is you've got um, your virtual warnings. So here we've got some options you can get into that'll tell you that I want alerts set up for uh, virtual warnings for the wall, ceiling, floor, and swing. So that's going to be telling you, hey, I'm going to uh, throw an audible at you when you hit those uh, those distances. Keep you from going into traffic when you are um, on a road job or whatnot. So we can go ahead and get on that. And then. You also have the quick access to attachment there to change your buckets. Um, we can also go into our automatics here and have our working window. So that's where you can change when it actually um, enables automatics and turns on that full smart grade. So once you're outside of that one foot, it's gonna automatically turn it off for you. You can dial it down if you like it closer. Otherwise you might end up diving towards that target elevation once you come in within that window. If you wanted to adjust your arm speed, you can come in here, go to presets, and change those. So you can set those to whatever you want. There is a reset to defaults button, which will bring it back to um, the factor defaults. So we can say cancel there. Um, we do have some of the gains controls, and these are items that you might want to um, lock out with that supervisor mode from your operators. But if you didn't quite like the performance of the machine, something your grade control specialist should be working with you to um, finalize. And then also from the control setup, there is a way to get into just 2D mode or into guidance only. So those are pretty handy. You know, you can always go back in features. Full 3D smart grade does not make you run in full 3D smart grade all the time. 